Hello you lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, yes, it is mystery box, mystery package time guys. And now I went off on to uh, the internet guys and went on to cash converters and I picked something up that I'd been after for quite some time guys to add it to the collection because I didn't have one. Um, so yeah, finally grabbed one because it was lovely and cheap guys very very cheap indeed but yeah what did i pick up well this is the thing guys obviously i've removed my address from here but yeah i'm not going to tell you guys until we unbox it that's the thing until we unwrap it and unbox it guys and take a look at the system and what have you so i've given you a clue that it's a system i'll also give you another clue it was released on the 13th of november 2013 so quite some time ago guys yeah mm. but what is in this box guys what have i got that i'm going to be showing you that is the question isn't it so yeah would you like to join me as we take a look at what the hell did i pick up now with this hmm, mystery unboxing guys right are you ready for this let's see what the hell i've been up to now shall we back in a sec Right, well, here we go, guys. Here is the package. But what is in here? Obviously, it's fragile. Hmm. Yeah, it's quite a big box, isn't it? Hmm. So is it going to be a reasonably sized thing? That is the question. It's got a bit of weight to it as well. Yeah, it's actually quite heavy. What is in there, guys? What did I get from Cash Converters Online Store? Obviously, you've got a hell of a lot more choice there than you do just going into cash converters on your high street, if you've got one, that is. Um, as much as I love my local cash converters, I sometimes do like to go and have a look on their website. But it's actually the first thing I've ever bought off their website. So, it came in reasonable time, guys. A couple of days and it was here, so I'm quite pleased with that. I know my good friend Dell has bought from them before and he seems to be quite happy with their services and what have you. So yeah, I took the plunge after he made some purchases uh, recently and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna as well. And I managed to pick up something I've been after for quite a while. Like I said, to add it to the collection guys, cause I like my weird and wonderful. But what is it? Mm, the anticipation. Are you as excited as I am? That is the thing. Are you? Oh, okay, then shall we unbox it then with this knife? Oh, yeah, come on then, let's do it. Right, let's shove that in there. Try not to damage what's in it, mind, he says. Let's see if I can just cut my way in a bit. Uh, probably not. It's going to be more a rippy job, isn't it? Let's have a look. Let's see how hard this is going to be. Probably too bloody hard. A fool trying to open a... Well, a black sack, basically, isn't it? So, yeah, they only use the best packaging. Obviously, lots of bubble wrap, though. That's good. But, yeah. <laughs> what looks like a black sack. It might not be a black sack, of course. But I have my suspicions that it probably is. All right, so what is in here? Well, there's plenty of flipping wrapping, isn't there? That's for sure. Good God, look at it all. Loads of it. Oh, no wonder I'm struggling. Right, two secs, guys. I've got to give it a pull. And maybe that's where the trusty dusty knife will come in. Hey, let's have a look. All right, okay, we'll go to the side here. See, hey, you never thought you'd be watching a silly old fool trying to get into what well, is basically a black sack package. Ah, right, there we go. That's the black sack bit gone. Hey. <laughs> Chuck that there, there we go. And here is the bubble wrap. Can you already make out what that is through there? You may well be able to. What is in here, guys? What is in here? The anticipation is not killing me, because I know. Oh, right, okay, let's go, let's go. Just get this over with. Let's get you out of your misery. And see what is in here. The infamous, infamous, guys, for how badly it's sold. And I'll give you another clue, guys. Hmm. It's uh, very similar to the Ooyah. It is. 
Da -da. He says, are we there? Yeah, we're there, guys. It's, get rid of that. It's the game stick. And it looks to me like this might be brand new. Has it got the seal on? Mm, maybe not. And there you can go, guys. That's how much I paid for it. This was an 80 quid console when it first came out. There's a good reason for that, though, guys, as we're going to discover, no doubt, as we go along. But yeah, let's have a look around the box first. That's a very, very nice box, actually. Really good quality, strong. Now, you all know Play Jam, of course, are behind this one, I'm sure. A lot of you know that. Uh, very unsuccessful in the end, like I said, just like an Ouya. So you get this controller, you get the uh, game stick itself, which, of course, is you know, a very familiar factor to most people because, uh, yeah, of course, it looks like a memory stick, doesn't it? But, yeah. Very nice packaging. There we go, there's some of the gubbins there. I'll just uh, let you have a quick read there. Yeah. But the thing is, guys, this may just be a collection piece because if this isn't pre-owned, I won't be able to put anything on it. We're going to plug it in and take a look at it, of course. But the store closed a long, long time ago. And there is no way of adding other stuff to it, apparently. I'm sure I can see something at the bottom of it there, but we'll find out, won't we? If it's got a memory card slot or not. But, yeah. There we are, guys. Nice little pull tag there. <laughs> pull tag, you know, hang tag. Yeah. And just game stick written at the bottom. So, yeah, very, very interesting thing indeed. Yeah. But, yes, I am very curious as to whether it's new. And by the feel of that, guys, oh, yeah, that is a seal. This is new, oh dear. Not necessarily a good thing, that. Because if it would have been pre-owned, then of course there might have been something on it from the previous owner. But we'll see what happens when we plug it in. But first of all, of course we need to have a look at the contents, don't we? So I've got the knife here ready for this tag. Hopefully it's the only tag there is. Uh, come on, seeing as it's going to be a collector's piece kind of thing. I don't want to damage the box, of course. Hmm. Yes, I might have to pull that off instead. Because otherwise, knowing me, I will damage the box. Oh, hang on a minute. I might be able to get in there. That would be much easier if I could with a knife. There we go. I'm in. I'm in. Good. That's good. Right. So how does this open? Ah, so it's a flap. A metallic flap. You know, with the little magnets in there. Yeah, magnets in there. So that's quite nice. Right, let's turn it around. And open this beastie up and see what we see when we first get in there. Now, I always saw the adverts for these in game, guys, at the time. They were all over game. Uh, but they never actually had any of the units in. As far as I'm aware, I kept asking and asking. They never got them in. But they had the big bloody posters and stuff up of it. But yeah, they never actually had the unit. They're not Certainly not in my one, anyway. Right, here we go, we're in. I tell you what, it's all very nice looking. Packaging here, wow. Pretty impressive. Now, the thing about this was, I mean, Play Jam, we're an established, oh no, wrong way around. We're an established developer. You know, they used to make TV games, basically, for satellite and what have you. So it was very surprising that it fell on its ass Because it had a bit of, uh, yeah, Bit of a half decent company behind it. Right, so we've got some felt here. Oh, this is all very posh, guys. Very, very posh. Mm -hmm. Right, here we go with a, some kind of pack here with all your bits and bobs in it, no doubt. Of course, this was crowdfunded just like the Ouya in the end. So that they uh, smashed, you know, their, uh, what they wanted to raise. They got a hell of a lot more than that. We'll have a look at that in a minute guys. Let's put it aside a minute. Now here you can see where the weight probably comes into it. This is the controller here. Yeah that has got a bit of weight to it guys. That really does have some nice weight to it. Very interesting looking controller indeed. All right let's put him aside as well a minute. Then we've just got this here which is yeah packaging. Let's open this up. Oh, here we go. Here's the charger. 
Yeah, so you've got a charger there, guys. Yeah. Oh, there's a block, actually. It's a block, which is nice that you get the block. Wow. And, of course, the cable for it. There we go. Yeah, very interesting indeed. Yeah, there's a lot of cables here. Wow. And what else have we got? Oh, have they even put in a HDMI lead on that? I think they may have, guys. This might be a HDMI cable. Very short one, but it's there. Blimey. And what is this? Hmm. Again, some kind of power cable there. You know, kind of like the ones you would get on your old Android devices. Yeah. Cool. Again, it's nice to have it there. But where is the actual unit itself? That must be here somewhere, he says. <clears throat> no, there is absolutely nothing there. So what have I missed, eh? I know what I've missed, guys. Because it's in here. It's stored in there, guys. Yeah, so now the box is empty. There we go. Yeah, all empty and coming apart by the looks of it there. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, we shall put that aside. And there is the uh, very posh packaging. Yeah, quite impressed with that, guys. That is, uh, you can see, it's like a felt. Yeah, put that aside as well. And then we'll pull this baby in here. So, yeah, so that's the way around you would hold it. I presume, yeah, like that. I'll put it in this bag. Let's open it up. It is a very nice size controller, I have to say. Yeah, that is a pretty damn nice, nicely placed buttons. Feel clicky enough, yeah. Yep, two sticks. That's good, and they've got a bit of a. Uh, and a bit of a raise to them, which is always good on a stick. Not to have the bloody nubs. It is an actual stick. Yeah, directional pad. Yeah, all that. Gubbins, yeah, that's all good. Yeah, and then on the back, guys, you have this switch here, which I presume pushes the game stick out when you push that. Let's have a look, shall we? What does it do? Let's see. Anything? Oh, it's not doing anything. Let's have a look. Oh, you're just not getting my nail in there enough. Hmm, that could be a bit of a problem for somebody with no nails, couldn't it? Let's have a look. No, I'm not going to do anything. Okay. Right, figured it out, guys. You've got to push it in and then push it up as well. So, basically, let's see if I can do it now. There we go, guys. It's coming. There we go. That pushes out the game stick itself. So, there we go. It's out. Now it's got this little flap. Oh, look at that in there. There we go, you can have a look inside there. Yeah, it puts this little flap up, which then protects it while it's open. So yeah, that's pretty damn cool. What a nice pad that is. I like the shoulder buttons, they feel nice. Only one of each. Yeah, that is pretty good. Obviously the sticks are nice. These are all nice. Yeah, brilliant. All right, so put him aside a minute. Hey, there we go. And let's have a look at the stick itself. Oh yeah, look, it does really just look like a memory stick, exactly the same. I've seen many of these things before, especially recently, and yes, I do believe that's got to be, that has got to be an SD card slot there, hasn't it? So you can add more. Yes, I can see the uh, contacts inside, I don't know if you can make that out there, but there is contacts in there. So yeah, you can definitely add something to this, even though the store doesn't work anymore. Even if it's just emulators or something, I'm sure there's a way around it. So yeah, there's the power, I think. This is the HDMI. Hmm, could be the HDMI actually, that one. Yeah. Who knows? Well, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, pretty straightforward and simple. But yeah, I've wanted one for so long, guys. Now I finally have one. Wicked. 
Right, let's lay it all out and have another look, shall we? Well, here we go, guys. This is everything laid out. Here is the, obviously the box at the back here. Now, I'm so impressed with the packaging, guys. The packaging is awesome. You can't fault it. Even down to the internal packaging. Absolutely fantastic. You could tell it was actually a very nicely made product. Just such a shame, isn't it? That like the Ouya, it just didn't do it, did it? There you go again with the gubbins there. Yeah, so yeah, really, really lovely packaging. Now I did say we'd have a look through here, didn't we? So we'll do that quickly. So we'll open it up again. All right, so yes, it is. It's your quick start guide and things like that. So yeah, here we go. Let's have a look, anything else there? Yeah, it's just the one bit of paper here, guys. That shows you what to do with it. See, if I'd have read that, I would have known what I was doing that button on the back, wouldn't I? Certainly would have. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just your basic gubbins. Yeah, here it tells you look about what to do. <laughs> what a fool that I didn't look. And it's, yeah, it's just your basic gubbins there. So, yeah, nice to uh, have it all like that. Got to refold it properly, so I'll swing it aside for now. But yes, guys, brilliant little package. But what we've got to do now is we've got to plug the bloody thing in, haven't we, and see if you can do anything with it at all. Right, back in a sec. Right, guys, here we go. This is, uh, yeah, it plugged into the TV now. Now, this wasn't the first screen that came up. The first screen that came up was to... Uh, pair the uh, controller to the uh, game stick but I didn't get to film that guys um it was a bit boring anyway you wouldn't have been that interested but yeah we're now on to the uh, language selection so obviously um yeah you got English American you got you know Chinese you got Deutsch which is German of course you got Spanish French Italian and the Netherlands and so on and so on so right we'll go back up to English. Let's see how far we get here, guys. All right, let's have a look where you choose it. Yeah, here we go. So now we're into set up the screen. All right, okay. Move the edges of the screen, blah, blah, blah. Let's see how we do that then. Okay. So you're just supposed to get that in there, I suppose, eh? Something like that, I think. Yeah, I think it was all right where it was anyway. So yeah, that'll do. So save and continue, all right. Then we're on to this one, right. Okay, then this is for the Wi-Fi connection. So yeah, obviously it shows all the nearby Wi-Fi connections. So we're gonna pause for a second while I sort that out. Right, here we go, guys. It's searching and trying to establish a connection. Let's see what happens. Obviously, fast forward if it takes too long. Well, it's certainly searching, but it doesn't seem to be finding anything. Right, here we go, guys. We have success. Let's see what happens now. So what is it doing now so it's connected to our wi-fi i mean i can save it now i don't know i don't think so let's have a look no not yet oh yeah there we go guys now we can we can save it now Right, searching for updates, but of course it won't find any updates because it's not active anymore. But we'll we'll give it a chance. Let's see what it does. Well, guys, that is as far as I'm getting. Yeah, unfortunately, it has now been sat for twenty minutes. I don't know if I was to leave it longer, if it will keep searching and find something somewhere to move on to the next step. But you physically cannot get to activate Game Stick. You can't get to that bit. The only thing you can do is press B to go back, as it says at the bottom there. So we'll do that. We'll press B and go back. There we go. We're back to the uh, <laughs> the internet bit, the Wi-Fi bit. Um, yeah. So at the moment, guys, 
what can I do? Not a lot, that's for sure. Um, yeah, so we've gone right back to the language section. Now, I have seen mixed views on whether you can sideload, but in the end I did find a video where it explains that you can sideload things onto it because it has got a SD card slot. So there may be a part two coming to this, guys, but as of now, out of the box, brand new, that is as far as you get, guys. You get to update software, it searches for ages. You know, I might leave it to run even longer, you know, just in the background, just leave it to run and see if it actually detects anything in the end. But we gave it 20 minutes, guys, and nothing was found. So we didn't even get to a message to say that the store was shut or anything like that. We didn't get anywhere. And of course, yeah, like I said, maybe a part two to this, if I can sideload at least some emulators on there, that would be fantastic, wouldn't it? With it having an SD slot, guys, it is a, you know, <laughs> you know, tinkered with Android running on here. I can't see why not. So yeah, look out for a part two. It could well be coming, guys, from what I've seen with uh, researching it a bit. And to be honest, there isn't a, lit, you know, a great deal of information on the internet, YouTube, anywhere. In fact, it's almost like this never existed, guys, this, this little machine, this little device. And um, very, very strange indeed. Right, back in a sec, guys. Well, guys, that was a little bit disappointing, wasn't it, that we couldn't get any further. And what worries me, really, is I bought this knowing that would happen. Um, I'd already heard that the store had been shut, that there was a possibility there wouldn't be anything on here if it was new. If it had been pre-owned, there might have been something installed on it already, and it would have been, you know, worthy of getting it. So it was worth the blinking four ninety nine to grab it, to have it in the collection. Um, yeah, but it worries me that cash converters have got loads of these guys. I mean, loads of them. Now, in a certain store, they're charging 35 quid for them. But there's another store where I got this one from that I've got loads of them and they're charging 4 99 for them, which is fine for a collector like myself. It's a no-brainer. You're going to grab it. And, of course, I'm still hoping that the memory stick, you know, or should I say the memory slot, the memory card slot will come in handy for side loading and there might be a saving grace here. But for people who don't know, they're going to go on Cash Converter's website and see it and buy it, not knowing any of this, guys. So that's a bit concerning, isn't it? That, uh, yeah, that could happen. That people could happily buy this and didn't know. Hmm, bit worrying that they're going to get it, you know, sent to them, open it up, play it, and, uh, oh, dearie me, I can't do anything with it. Not right, really, is it? They should have warned you about that when you go onto the website and try to purchase it. It should be in the description, shouldn't it? So yeah, a bit naughty there, just a bit. But there is saving graces where you can use the uh, pad for other things as well, with it being a Bluetooth pad. And of course, like I said about the memory stick. But you know what we're going to do now, guys? We're going to have a little comparison with another microcomputer. Did you guess it was going to be the Ouya I'm comparing it to? Because of course, they're practically the same blinking thing, aren't they? They were both meant to bring Android mobile games and so on to the big screen and both failed. Although this was a record breaking Kickstarter. But this was also a very, very uh, nice Kickstarter guys. They got a hell of a lot more money than they thought they were going to get. But yeah, look at the difference between these two guys. They do practically the same thing. But yeah, completely different. This obviously is a nice little aesthetic looking thing. It would have been lovely, you know, to have it standing in your living room at the time. In fact, I know it was because I had one. This one. But yeah, lovely. All these different bloody ports there on the back. Yeah, excellent. And to this day, I can still use this one because I've got a lot of emulators on it and Ouya games that I already owned. So I've been lucky with that one, obviously. So yeah, and then the game stick. Very different, isn't it, eh? But like I said, it does have that saving grace of the SD card slot. So yeah, something could still come from this yet, guys. We will try. But yeah, just look at that, too, guys. You know, the two 
microcomputers that were out at the same time. What a difference, eh? That, of course, is metal. That is rubber. Yeah, what a difference. Now, here are the controllers. Again, very different. This was lovely, really, really lovely, even though I couldn't actually play anything on it. It felt nice. That is really nice. Now, all these buttons feel lovely. Absolutely lovely. And on the Ouya guys, it gets a lot of bad press. People say buttons get stuck and all that. Well, I've had one since launch, guys, and I've never had a problem with it. Never. Yes, it has got weirdness where you have to pull these plates off here. This is a plate, this is a plate to put the batteries in. Very, very odd. But the buttons are quality. Really, really, really nice. This is obviously a new one. I've never actually used this one. Still got the plastic wrap on it, look. And you get two shoulder buttons on this one. Nice, nice feeling shoulder buttons as well. So yeah, I love them. But yeah, this is a bit weird. It's metal. You've got a trackpad here, which is brilliant as well. So yeah, it is the superior one of the two, of course. And then just black on the back. But yeah, very interesting to compare the two. But of course, with the Ouya controller, you can't take the unit and basically shove it in the back of the controller. Of course you can't. That would just be plain silly, wouldn't it? Trying to squeeze, yeah. That into that. Don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> But yeah, isn't it uh, awesome, guys, just to compare the two? You know, compare the two consoles, compare the two controllers. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. And I thought I just had to show you that, guys, because it's two microcomputers that were out at the same time. Of course, this one was the same price as this one, really, guys, because they retailed for just under 80 quid. So it was like 79.99, 79.99. So you were a bit... Uh, Bought for choice at the time, but I tell you what, you were much better off getting that one because there was a hell of a lot more stuff brought out for it. And of course, yeah, beautiful emulation device by today's standards. And yeah, that is still absolutely awesome though, guys. I just hope I can side load stuff onto it. So yeah, guys, there we go. That is the unboxing and the, well, trying to play it, but it didn't really work out. I knew that was going to happen though, guys. And of course, like I said, there'll be a part two if I can get side-loaded apps onto there. But yeah, looking at the game stick, guys. The uh, Play Jam game, game stick. Uh, as I said earlier, guys, Play Jam, you thought they might have had the upper hand being a, an established developer already, but obviously only of their uh, satellite games. And uh, yeah, and then we had a little comparison, didn't we, with the Ouya. So oh, with that guys, I'm going to wrap things up and I'm going to say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thumbs up if you feel that way inclined. And of course, don't forget to tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications. And again guys, do you love retro gaming? Because if you do, emulation is the way forward as with this baby. So yeah, there's a way of preserving those classics guys that would be lost otherwise. So I've got a fantastic group for you on Facebook. If you do love emulation, it is the Retro Emulation Fan Group. That me and my bestie Nate set up some time ago. It is now, oh, just a, a whisker away from 700 members. Fantastic content on there, guys. With videos of unboxings like this one. Uh, system reviews, flipping emulation performance, tech help videos, and a whole lot more and a stellar admin team behind us to help you with any of your emulation wars. <laughs> yep, yeah. all link below guys. If you love emulation, come over and join us. We'd love to see you. And then guys, I also have my UK Crown Gaming Facebook group as well, where we cover everything from retro gaming, from the birth of it guys with Pong machines and whatever, right the way through to PS5s and everything in between. And again, tons of videos there guys, because other YouTubers put their videos up every single day. As well so there's a ton of content for you to watch so yeah absolutely awesome if you love gaming from all the different time periods guys once again link below come over ask to join and i'll accept you in no time and with that guys i'm going to love you and leave you and see you
cheers and goodbye. See you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.